Madrid is the capital city of Spain and is located in the center of the country. The city is rich in history, culture, and beauty, making it an excellent destination for tourists. In this article, we will take a look at the top 10 places to go in Madrid. Prado Museum. The Prado Museum is one of the most important art museums in the world and is home to an impressive collection of Spanish, European, and Italian paintings. Visitors can admire works by famous artists such as Velázquez, Goya, and Rubens, and learn about the art and culture of Spain. Royal Palace of Madrid. The Royal Palace of Madrid is the official residence of the Spanish royal family and is located in the heart of the city. The palace is an example of Spanish Baroque architecture and is open to the public for tours. Visitors can admire the ornate interior and learn about the history of the Spanish monarchy. Retiro Park. Retiro Park is one of the largest parks in Madrid and is a popular destination for tourists and locals alike. The park is home to a variety of attractions, including the Crystal Palace, a large pond, and several gardens. Visitors can take a stroll through the park, relax on one of the many benches, and enjoy the peaceful atmosphere. Tissan Bornemisa Museum. The Tissan Bornemisa Museum is a private art museum located in Madrid, and it is home to an impressive collection of paintings from the 13th to the 20th centuries. Visitors can admire works by famous artists such as Van Gogh, Monet, and Degas, and learn about the art and culture of Europe. Puerta del Sol. Puerta del Sol is a central square in Madrid and is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the city. The square is home to the clock tower that marks the countdown to New Year's Eve, and it is surrounded by a variety of shops, restaurants, and cafes. Visitors can enjoy a drink or a meal in one of the many restaurants, or take a stroll through the square and enjoy the bustling atmosphere. Santiago Bernabeu Stadium Santiago Bernabeu Stadium is the home of Real Madrid Football Club, one of the most famous and successful football teams in the world. Visitors can take a tour of the stadium, see the trophy room, and learn about the history of the club. Mercado de San Miguel Mercado de San Miguel is a historic indoor market located in the heart of Madrid. The market is filled with stalls selling a variety of fresh produce, seafood, and specialty foods, and it is a popular destination for tourists and locals alike. Visitors can sample the local cuisine and experience the lively atmosphere of the market. Catedral de la Almadina Catedral de la Almadina is a Roman Catholic cathedral located in Madrid, and it is one of the largest and most important religious buildings in the city. Visitors can admire the ornate interior, see the beautiful stained glass windows, and learn about the history of the cathedral. Palacio Real de Madrid The Royal Palace of Madrid is a former royal residence and is now used for state ceremonies and official events. Visitors can tour the palace, see the ornate interior, and learn about the history of the Spanish monarchy. Plaza Mayor Plaza Mayor is a central square in Madrid and is one of the city's most famous landmarks. The square is surrounded by a variety of shops, restaurants, and cafes, and it is a popular destination for tourists and locals alike. Visitors can enjoy a drink or a meal during the visit. Top 10 Places to Go for Lisboa Bellum Tower this tower is a symbol of the Age of Discovery and is one of the most famous landmarks in Lisbon. It was built in the early 16th century to commemorate Portugal's maritime exploits and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Visitors can climb to the top of the tower for panoramic views of the city and the River Tagus. Geronimo's Monastery. This impressive monastery is another of Lisbon's most famous landmarks. It was built in the late 16th century to commemorate Portugal's maritime successes and is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Visitors can admire the intricate carvings, arches, and columns of the monastery's Gothic-style architecture. Barro Alto. This neighborhood is one of the most popular areas in Lisbon for nightlife and dining. It is a lively neighborhood filled with narrow cobblestone streets, historic buildings, and a range of bars, restaurants, and nightclubs. Visitors can enjoy a night out in Barro Alto, experiencing the city's vibrant nightlife and trying local dishes such as grilled sardines and cod. Alfama. This is the oldest neighborhood in Lisbon and is filled with historic buildings, narrow streets, and stunning views. It is also the heart of the city's Fado music scene, with many Fado houses offering live music performances. Visitors can wander the streets of Alfama and enjoy the sights and sounds of this charming neighborhood. 
São Jorge Castle. This castle is one of the most iconic landmarks in Lisbon, offering panoramic views of the city and the River Tagus. It was built in the 11th century and has been used as a palace, military fortification, and prison over the centuries. Visitors can tour the castle, admire the views, and learn about its rich history. Rossio Square. This square is one of the most popular public spaces in Lisbon and is a great place to relax, people watch, and enjoy the city's atmosphere. It is surrounded by historic buildings, cafes, and shops and is a popular gathering spot for locals and visitors alike. LX Factory. This is a former industrial complex that has been transformed into a creative hub for artists, designers, and entrepreneurs. It is a unique destination in Lisbon, offering a range of art exhibitions, workshops, and events. Visitors can explore the galleries, shops, and studios of LX Factory and discover the city's thriving creative community. National Tile Museum. This museum is dedicated to the art of tile making in Portugal and is one of the most unique museums in Lisbon. Visitors can admire the intricate tile patterns, learn about the history of tile making in Portugal, and see examples of tile work from different periods and styles. Estrela Basilica. This basilica is one of the largest and most beautiful churches in Lisbon. It was built in the late 18th century and is a prominent example of the Baroque architectural style. Visitors can admire the basilica's ornate interior, stained glass windows, and dome and enjoy panoramic views of the city from the top of its towers. Time Out Market. This market is a new addition to Lisbon's food scene and is a great place to try a range of local dishes. It is a food hall that brings together the city's best chefs and food vendors, offering a range of cuisine, from seafood and grilled meats to traditional sweets and pastries. Visitors can enjoy a meal and a drink at the market, experiencing the best of Lisbon's food culture. Top 10 Places to Go for Roman Colosseum The Colosseum is one of Rome's most famous landmarks and one of the most recognizable symbols of the ancient Roman Empire. It was built in the 1st century AD and is considered one of the greatest architectural achievements of its time. Visitors can tour the Colosseum, imagine the gladiatorial contests and public spectacles that took place here, and learn about the history of the ancient Romans. Vatican City. Vatican City is the smallest sovereign state in the world and the center of the Roman Catholic Church. It is home to many of the world's most famous art treasures, including the Sistine Chapel and St. Peter's Basilica. Visitors can tour the Vatican museums, admire the stunning works of art, and visit the Vatican Gardens. Roman Forum. The Roman Forum was the center of political, social, and economic life in ancient Rome. Visitors can walk among the ruins of this once great city, admire the columns and arches, and learn about the history of the Roman Empire. Pantheon. The Pantheon is a temple dedicated to all the gods of ancient Rome. It was built in the 2nd century AD and is considered one of the best preserved ancient buildings in the world. Visitors can admire the Pantheon's dome and admire the ancient Roman engineering that went into its construction. Trevi Fountain. The Trevi Fountain is one of the most famous fountains in the world and a must-visit for anyone in Rome. According to legend, throwing a coin into the fountain ensures a return trip to Rome. Visitors can admire the ornate Baroque architecture of the fountain, watch the sparkling water, and make a wish. Spanish Steps. The Spanish Steps are a set of 138 steps that connect the Piazza di Spagna with the Piazza Trinita dei Monti. They are one of the most famous landmarks in Rome and a popular gathering spot for locals and visitors alike. Visitors can climb the steps and admire the views of the city and the nearby church of Trinita dei Monti. Castel Sant'Angelo Castel Sant'Angelo is a castle and museum that was originally built as a mausoleum for the Roman Emperor Hadrian. It was later used as a fortress, prison, and papal residence. Visitors can tour the castle, admire the views of Rome from the top of its walls, and learn about its rich history. Piazza Navona. Piazza Navona is one of the most beautiful squares in Rome and is surrounded by stunning Baroque architecture. It is also home to three magnificent fountains, including the famous Fontana dei Quattro Fiumi. Visitors can relax in the square, watch street performers, and enjoy a gelato or coffee in one of the nearby cafes. Villa Borghese. Villa Borghese is a large park in the center of Rome that is home to a number of museums, including the Galleria Borghese and the Bioparco. 
visitors can admire the park's beautiful gardens, enjoy a picnic, or take a boat ride on the lake. Capitoline Hill Capitoline Hill is one of the seven hills of Rome and is home to a number of important landmarks, including the Capitoline Museums, the Piazza del Campidoglio, and the statue of Marcus Aurelius. Visitors can explore the museums, admire the views of the city from the top of the hill, and learn about the history of ancient Rome. Top 10 Places to Go for Strasbourg La Petite France La Petite France is a charming, picturesque quarter in the heart of Strasbourg that is famous for its half-timbered houses, canals, and bridges. Visitors can stroll along the banks of the Ill River, admire the architecture, and enjoy a meal or drink at one of the many cafes and restaurants in the area. Notre Dame Cathedral The Notre Dame Cathedral is one of the most important Gothic structures in the world and one of Strasbourg's most famous landmarks. Visitors can tour the cathedral, admire the stained glass windows and intricate carvings, and climb the tower for breathtaking views of the city. Place Clabert Place Clabert is a large square in the center of Strasbourg that is surrounded by cafes, restaurants, and shops. It is also home to a statue of Jean-Baptiste Clabert, a French general who was born in Strasbourg. Visitors can relax in the square, watch street performers, and enjoy a bite to eat at one of the nearby cafes. European Parliament The European Parliament is one of the institutions of the European Union and is responsible for the legislation and administration of the EU. Visitors can tour the Parliament building, learn about the role of the European Parliament, and observe a session of the Parliament in action. Parc de Langerie The Parc de Langerie is a large park on the outskirts of Strasbourg that is perfect for picnics, walks, and outdoor activities. Cité de l'Automobile the Cité de l'Automobile is a museum dedicated to the history of the automobile and its role in modern society. Visitors can admire the collection of cars and learn about the history of the automobile and its impact on our world. Aigle's St. Thomas The Aigle's St. Thomas is a beautiful church that is famous for its elaborate stained glass windows and stunning architecture. Place Gutenberg Place Gutenberg is a small square in the center of Strasbourg that is named after Johannes Gutenberg the inventor of the printing press. It is surrounded by cafes, shops, and historic buildings and is a popular gathering spot for locals and visitors alike. Top 10 Places to Go for Liverpool The Beatles Story The Beatles Story is a museum dedicated to the famous Liverpool band and its impact on music and popular culture. Liverpool Cathedral Liverpool Cathedral is one of the largest cathedrals in the UK and a landmark of the city. Albert Dock the Albert Dock is a historic dock complex that has been transformed into a cultural and entertainment hub. The Museum of Liverpool The Museum of Liverpool is dedicated to the history of Liverpool and its people. Visitors can learn about the city's history, from its maritime past to its role in the Industrial Revolution, and explore exhibitions about Liverpool's cultural and sporting heritage. International Slavery Museum the International Slavery Museum is dedicated to the history of slavery and its impact on the world. Merseyside Maritime Museum The Merseyside Maritime Museum is dedicated to the maritime history of Liverpool and the Mersey River. Visitors can learn about the city's maritime heritage, the famous ships that have sailed from its port, and the role of Liverpool in the transatlantic slave trade. Anfield Stadium Anfield Stadium is the home of Liverpool Football Club and one of the most famous football stadiums in the world. Visitors can take a stadium tour, visit the museum, and experience the thrill of walking down the tunnel to the pitch. Liverpool One Liverpool One is a shopping, dining, and entertainment district in the heart of the city. Visitors can shop at the many stores, dine at the restaurants, and enjoy the entertainment and nightlife options available in the area. St. George's Hall St. George's Hall is a stunning Victorian building that serves as a concert hall, museum, and cultural center. Visitors can admire the architecture, attend concerts and events, and learn about the history of the building and its role in the city. The Blue Coat The Blue Coat is a historic building that serves as a center for the arts and culture in Liverpool. Visitors can explore the exhibitions, attend events and performances, and admire the architecture and history of the building. In conclusion, Liverpool is a city with a rich and diverse cultural heritage. From its music scene to its maritime history, there is something for everyone to explore and enjoy in Liverpool. So, take a trip to this vibrant and exciting city and discover all that it has to offer.